Emma Joyce Broderick. Um, ninety seven. Be nice to your neighbor, your friends. Think that it's so important to your whole makeup to have a lot of friends. Keeps you active and interested, and mm -hmm. it's just necessary. Where I was born, yeah, I was born in uh, White Wright, Texas. In Texas, uh huh, and that's a small town east of Dallas. It was a farm, and uh, I moved to Oklahoma when I was just an infant. And I was reared in Oklahoma. So okay. Oklahoma is my home. Your home? Mm hmm. Yeah. And then you moved to Arizona? Uh, recently. Oh, recently? Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Going on my second year. How do you like it here? I don't. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't like the summers, they're too more hot. You I like just melt down, so I don't uh, don't get out much. Mm, not really. No, I haven't had that experience. So I've been very fortunate. I had a good family. Uh, so I can't complain about anything. I just have one, one son. Two great-grandchildren and two grandchildren. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course, they're all scattered, they're grown, and they're scattered now, and can't come as often as they used to, yeah. but they still come when they can, and uh, I enjoy them so much. You no, know, I don't. One of, my, one of my grandchildren came over with hers, and we uh, talked to her great-granddaughter in New York, uh -huh. and uh, that was fun. It was certainly a new experience for me, and I enjoyed it. She happened to be giving herself a pedicure. Oh, wow. And we called. <laughs> so it was, it was good. It was very good. I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Sometimes they, some go too far with it, I think, but uh, no, I think it's wonderful that you can do that, uh, be that close to your okay. your family, mm -hmm. like you are with this. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this helps you and also helps your mother with she can see you and she can hear your voice mm -hmm. my granddaughter uses it all the time and she puts my picture and her picture up and she gets a lot of feedback oh wow about you mm -hmm. so what do they say about you? Well, they just wish me well and and uh, congratulations and friends that, that we're close to, you know, mm -hmm. that know me. And uh, it's nice. So, oh, it's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, 
just like everybody else, just play with it, I think. Yeah. You think you, you would be interested? Oh, yes. <clears throat> and you're not afraid of uh, using the computer? Well, I've never tried. I mean, I've never. But you would like to, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't know whether I would be capable of doing it or not, but I, you know, I think it would be nice to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have your own mm -hmm. uh, page on Facebook. Yeah. Talk to the people. Well, now I don't know about that, but anyway, I don't know whether I can do that or not. But anyway, it would be nice if I could. No, I don't have any secrets. It just. Uh, had our ups and downs, but uh, we always worked it out. So I don't think any marriage is just perfect. So, but we worked it out. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, that was it. My uh, sister did, but I didn't. Wasn't into sports. <laughs> <laughs> I go to therapy here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, in fact, they've just now stopped my therapy. And uh, so I'm going to have to do it on my own. On your own? And, uh -huh. and that's hard to do. You just won't, you keep putting it off. have a secret. I was taught to do the right thing and be courteous and kind to people and uh, I uh, I just don't uh, I don't have any secrets so anything there but mm, had wonderful parents that taught you right from wrong and you did the right thing or you tried to do the right thing Here it's pretty dull. <laughs> <laughs> A typical day is just pretty dull. But uh, it's just, you get up in the morning and you have an aide that comes in and helps you dress and has your breakfast and then uh, uh, you uh, sometimes go to a meeting or some kind of activity, and uh, then uh, you have your lunch, and uh, afternoon, you, some afternoons we play cards, some afternoons we play bingo, <laughs> and it's just a... It's your routine. Yeah. So, uh, well, they try to keep you busy, but... Uh, it's just a kind of a dull, dull day. <laughs> well, no, I don't. I have a friend, but not a boyfriend. It's no. So, it's a male. <laughs> it's a male friend. Yeah, but uh, nothing, nothing serious. <laughs> I mean. Oh yes, every day. I wash my face and 
then I put the cream on, and then I put my makeup on. I like L'Oreal. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm using now. And I like it. Oh, I have standing appointments. I do it every week. And then she comes just sometimes in between periods, you know. So, and she's here and she's very good. And we're very fortunate to have her. And so. Do you do nails? Uh huh. Yeah, I do a pedicure and a manicure. I eat everything, and I uh, especially eat when I go to my daughter-in-law and son's house. I really <laughs> eat. You really eat there? I eat there. <laughs> uh, chicken, I think, is my favorite. And my daughter-in-law really cooks good fried chicken. It's wonderful to die for <laughs> so do you drink no oh I'll, a cocktail occasionally but not no I don't what kind of cocktail do you just whatever they were serving mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it, uh, not martinis <laughs> I said not martinis no, not a martini. Uh -uh. But uh, just a mild drink. I like all kinds of desserts. I'm a dessert eater. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch or earlier in the afternoon or sometimes at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just whenever it's available and I feel like I can eat it. it uh, I like desserts. Oh, I don't eat a big portion. Uh -uh. Not too big. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes pretty big. Pretty big sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, there's something I really like. It might be a big portion, so. Why not, right? Yeah, uh-huh. So, we just do kind of what we feel like we want to do. So, well, if it doesn't bother you, I mean, doesn't upset your system, eat it if you want it, yeah. in pretty good mood of a morning, yeah. The ladies always come in and pull the blinds and open the window and let the sun come in and start out with a good morning. And you, you can think about it, but it doesn't do any good. You just have to kind of Think about it and do the best you can. If you can get help for it, get all the help you can get. But other than that, what can you do? And it doesn't do any good to dwell on it. It just makes you unhappy and everybody else around you. So that's, that's not good. And you have to work on it every day. Nothing's easy. Nothing, life is not easy. But here we're fortunate to be here and to have experienced what we've experienced and be grateful for every day.
just can't dwell on what is wrong. I mean, life goes on, and you uh, you just have to cope with it and, and do the best you can. And sometimes it's hard, it's terribly hard, but I've never had to experience that feeling. And I'm so grateful and been so fortunate that I haven't had to do that. But I've been around people that have been incapacitated and couldn't do and they, uh, they seem to cope with it just real well. They just push and say, well, today's going to be a good day and tomorrow's going to be better. So it, uh, it's just one of those things that you have to have to deal with. Some do it better than others, and it, uh, no one likes to feel bad. And sometimes you think you're grumpy and, and don't want to do what you need to do, but just try to get your mind off of it and get busy. I think if you stay busy, you, you can cope with it real well. And I think that's the secret, really, is to stay busy and active. And just say tomorrow's going to be a better day.